Today, I'm going to show you how to create pumpkin juice. I'm going to show you a recipe on how to create a drinkable version, and then I'm also going to show you how to create a prop version. Okay, so what we will need to make our pumpkin juice prop or drinkable version is one glass bottle, and you can kind of decide what size you'd like. Um, it can even be a bottle that has already had uh, some kind of beverage in it that you have cleaned out and you are going to recycle. Um, for both, we will need some foam pumpkins, and I just plucked these off of some fall stems that I bought at my local craft store. For the prop version, we will need some rubbing alcohol, as well as some orange metallic paint, a funnel for filling, and then for both I have made labels printed on sticker paper and I made a smaller one and a larger one depending on what size bottle you have and the link for those is in the description down below. And then to finish both of them off we will be using some cheesecloth or gauze material, some jute twine, and some hot glue. And if you're going to be making the real drinkable pumpkin juice, uh, stay tuned and you'll see all the ingredients you need to make that recipe. Let's get started. Okay, so we will need one 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin puree, not the pumpkin pie filling, three cups of apple cider, three quarters of a cup of apricot nectar. You can also use peach nectar or pineapple juice. You're just wanting a natural sweetening agent a half a cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so now we are going to put all of our ingredients into the pot, whisk it up, we're going to bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Once you have pulled your pumpkin juice off of the stove um, and you have let it cool for just a little bit, I recommend that you strain it with a little bit of cheesecloth just so it's not so thick. You can definitely drink it both ways, thin or thick. I just prefer for it to have a little bit thinner consistency. Okay, so while our pumpkin juice is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create the prop version. So first we're going to remove the cap off of our bottle. And I'm just going to use a funnel to help fill. And then we're going to fill this up with some rubbing alcohol. Once our bottle is all the way filled up, we can remove the filter. And now we're going to add some of our orange metallic paint. And once we've added our paint, we can screw the lid back on. and give it a good shake. And I can already tell I need a little bit more of the orange paint. And 
Now that we have our paint mixed in with the alcohol, you can see that when we shake it, we get an amazing um, swirling effect for our faux pumpkin juice. So now we're gonna go ahead and add all of the finishing embellishments. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our um, label printed on sticker paper and we're going to attach it to the bottle. Then I made a second smaller sticker that says 100% all natural that I just want to stick above it. Okay, and now that we have our stickers on, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of the gauze on top and I just cut it into a square. And then we're going to take some jute twine closer here and we're just going to tie this around the neck of the bottle Once we've got our um, string tied on, we're going to go ahead and cut the ends. And then you can kind of play with your gauze and get it however you want around the edge of your bottle. And now we're going to take our hot glue gun and our pumpkin and we're going to glue it onto the top of our gauze and lid. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of hot glue and we are just going to squirt some on the top here. And then we're just going to place our pumpkin on top of the lid. And now I'm going to do the same thing to our real pumpkin juice. Okay, so as you can see, I took our cooled and strained pumpkin juice that we made and I put it into this glass bottle. And then I put all the same embellishments on this bottle as I did our prop. Um, so this would be a really great fun thing to have at a party um, or something different to have around for Halloween. Things like that. If you are going to do the prop and you are going to have it around for a party where maybe kids are around, make sure that it's up out of the reach of children um, or that you put some massive glue up underneath the gauze to keep the lid on so that kids don't try to drink the um, rubbing alcohol prop. So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.